So we have three email options. The first one is to send an email to the winner. Uh, if you enable it, just put a subject and a short message here. Tell them they won and put a login link to your exchange so they can go back in and spend the credits. The second option uh, would send an email to cardholders, which means to everyone who had a bingo card for the game but didn't win. So you can tell them, I'm sorry you didn't win this time, but we have a great game coming up, so perhaps you could try again or give them an offer or something. And the final email option is to send an email to active members. And what this would do is it sends an email to all active members of your exchange who have logged in in the last X days. You can select the number of days here yourself. So you would reach a lot of people, so be creative with this one. And this reaches people even if they don't know about the bingo game and they have never bought a bingo card before. So put some info and some, some good deal and make them want to go check it out. And when you have changed any setting or email on this page, be sure to click update down here for it to take effect. And you can also hover your mouse over all these question marks to see what each of them do, so you don't have to listen to me all over. Um, and that was it about the mod settings for now. Uh, we have some prices and we have the settings. So we activate it here and click update at the bottom of the page. And to make the bingo game appear in the top surf bar, First, we have to go to the Surf Settings page under Surf Options in your admin panel. And on this page, you have to enable the Surf Bar module named Bingo Game, this one. It has to be green enabled or nothing will show in the top surf bar. So it's really important you don't skip or forget this step. And now that we have enabled this, let's go to your exchange and have a look. Enter your domain name and then slash bingo.php. Now if you have made some prices already and activated the plugin, there should be some upcoming games down here. Uh, it looks like I have currently active game here, so I'm going to buy myself a card and have a look. There are two buttons here, one to buy a card for 25 credits and one to buy a card with bingo tokens. And I will get back to the bingo tokens in just a little bit, but I'm going to buy myself a card. And these are the numbers that already have been pulled for the drum, I allow people to buy in on existing games and that is also what I just did. And this is my bingo card. If I click it I can see a bigger version of it. So now let's go to surf and have a look how it appears there. Now as you can see in the top right corner here, uh, there's a miniature version of the bingo card I bought. And here's the most recent bingo number pulled from the drum. And this updates as new numbers are pulled. And this is filled in automatically. And if a member clicks the bingo card or the bingo ball, they are taken to the bingo page. You can also put links to, to your bingo page from other places. I'm going to go back into my surf area now. And as you can see, I put a bingo, a permanent bingo link here in the top surf bar. And if I go to my home page, in the middle of the home page, so that a lot of people can see it. And that was it about the display options. We're going to move on to those bingo tokens. So let's go back to 
games and bingo game in admin panel. And we're going to click the member cards tab. On this page you can see a list of your upcoming games and also if you have a currently active game it will show. You can click each game and have a look at which members have bought a card for it. On top of the page you can see manage member tokens. So what are bingo tokens? Well uh, one token is equal to one bingo card and instead of buying cards with credits, members can buy cards with bingo tokens if they had any, like I did a minute ago. And you can give members bingo tokens as prizes or gifts, so just enter their user ID here, click manage, enter how many bingo tokens you want to give them and click save. I already have had five but I will give myself five more and click save. When a member has bingo tokens, the button to buy a bingo card with tokens appears automatically next to the buy with credits button. But bingo tokens can also be attached to all of your sales packages. So whenever a member buys something, they will get some bingo tokens for free. And you can even create a special sales package just for bingo tokens. Let's click the products tab. Now, I already have a lot of my sales packages listed here, um, but you will see a drop-down menu like this one with your sales packages. Select one, choose how many tokens they should be awarded with for buying the product, and click Save, and it will be listed here. And if you wanted to make a sales package with just bingo tokens, go to sell items and sales packages. We're going to make a new sales package. I'll put 10 bingo tokens and I'll give it a price of $1 show it to all accounts and I will not add any credits, banners or text ads or upgrades here. I'll just make it a one-time purchase and add some payment processors. Click add. Now I have a sales package. So I'll go back to the bingo game and click the products tab. And in this drop-down list, I now have 10 bingo tokens. So I will attach 10 bingo tokens to it and click Save. And now I have a brand new thing to sell. You have to advertise the IPN for it wherever you want people to see it. I'll go back to the top and now it's just one more menu to go through. The house rules. So I'm going to click it. The first house rule listed here is about giving free spaces on bingo cards. As you can see here, I have mine set to giving members one free square in the middle of each bingo card. I could also uncheck it if I wanted to and save it. Then there would be no free spaces on the cards. And these spaces always appear in the same place. We had a setting in the Manage Settings tab for random free spaces and these are on top of your house rules and since they are random they can appear anywhere on the bingo card. We'll go back to the house rules tab and scroll down to the bingo rules. Your house rules will override the regular bingo rules uh, with a vertical, horizontal or diagonal line. If you want someone to win when they have, for example, an X shape, then we set it up like this, and we click Save. If you have an active house rule for bingo, then members will only win the prize when they have filled all the numbers in the shape you save here. 
I also suggest that you notify your members about the house rules if you have any, or people will probably think they only need one line. So how do you notify them? We're going to go to Site Design and Templates. You have three new templates here now. Bingo Game Pages, Bingo Leaderboard Page, and Bingo Main Page. The Game Pages is what's shown when someone clicks on a current or upcoming game, so that's where you can write about your house rules if you have any. The Bingo Main Page is what's shown when someone clicks on a bingo ball in Surf when there's an active game going on. Or you could link to the bingo game from your main menu or from member homepage. Uh, it's the main page with information if you want to add something about how to play the game or how to make it appealing for members. And if you want to write something on the bingo leaderboard page, you could also th do that. So there are a lot of settings to this bingo game, but it's designed so you can customize and, and uh, make it as good as possible for your exchange. If you would do a change in the settings, they would take effect after your list of pending games have been played, because the pending games, they were loaded with the previous settings. So after those are completed, then the new settings will take effect automatically. So thank you for listening to this tutorial. Uh, good luck with your game, and I hope you sell a lot of bingo cards.